Good morning, Kryptonians. This is Crypto Big Boss coming to you on 7 July 2021. And today I just want to do some commentary on my commentary. I want to talk to you about an article that I wrote uh, a couple of years back about the middle class um, and how there is an opportunity for there to be a new middle class given what's going on with cryptocurrency and how it could catapult some of these folks to be a millionaires, maybe more than just some. Let's just reach back and take a look at this article um, written a few years back. Uh, what I have here, it says, uh, throughout time, there has always been some form of distinct class system enforced within our culture. These divisions were set in place based on many factors throughout history. And whether it be by ethnic origin, creed, culture, religion, or monetary status, there has always been division. And today the world is a small place. Technology has enabled travel between countries, reduced the months at sea uh, to hours to uh, and in the air. Our culture divides have been reduced by global economics, shrinking natural resources and worldwide competition. And though there are many or may be pockets of individuals uh, who seek to divide the world with old rules, the real divide today is truly economic. There are those that have and those that don't. There are producers and consumers. There are business-minded people, and there are worker bees. And even though monarchy still exists, and the true elite still wield power through a gross wealth advantage, there is still a global shift taking place amongst upper, middle, and lower classes of the world afforded by the cryptocurrency revolution. According to the Pew Social Trends, Americans making less than $40,500 belong to the lower class. Those making between $42,000 and $126,000 belong to the so-called middle class. And finally, those that make more than $126,000 make up the upper class. Yet and still... The top 1% income earners um, in America still have more than 90% of the wealth. And if we distill these facts, it's not a leap uh, to see that the introduction of cryptocurrency into the world's financial infrastructure could provide an opportunity. Um, it could provide an opportunity and it could push that upper boundary uh, of the middle class income bracket up significantly. If the new upper limit for the middle class were pushed up 20%, it would mean a $150,000 limit. Historically, the middle class expands, property values go up, inflation goes up, and the poor become even more destitute. In addition, the ultra wealthy find new ways to leverage newfound assets and opportunities, etc., and thereby pushing their lower limit up. While this drama plays out in the crypto space, it is likely there will be a number of individuals catapulted into the upper class. It's an expanding proposition. The only apparent barriers to these developing economic changes appear to be the introduction of government regulations and mass adoption of these emerging blockchain technologies. <clears throat> Folks, I wrote this two years ago, in 2019. And everything that I've said here has come to place. Okay, we've got the United States sitting up here trying to push regulatory guidance that could only lead to the blockage of lower and middle class America not moving into 
the other classes. If you decide that you do not want to invest in these asset classes, you will effectively miss your opportunity to be catapulted into the next class. As a matter of fact, if you choose not to invest, which by my estimation may be the only way to multiply what you earn, you have sentenced yourself to whatever class that you effectively were put in at the end of your so-called education and your entry into the workforce. It is important that we understand this fact. We have no choice but to get into the habit of investing. Now, the truth be told, if Mr. Biden and the Congress of the United States decide that they want to track crypto, that's not a big deal. But there's no reason to start tracking folks' cryptocurrency if you have no intention of going beyond monitoring. Okay, we're going to spend taxpayer dollars to start having people track how much crypto people have. The only reason you want to know how much crypto we have is so you can get a percentage of it. And once they start trying to get a percentage of it, okay, then all of a sudden it's going to take off and it's going to go to a place where people could not have dreamed. And oh yeah, that's right. People keep talking about these here Chinese folks. Okay, like, okay, so what? Their, their government wants to crack down on crypto and they right now are trying to stop the, their businesses from accepting it and stop uh, their people from mining it. Well, that will be short-lived. They've tried that and they've done it time and time again and that ain't gonna stop the Chinese people from cashing in on the greatest opportunity for this generation and possibly the greatest opportunity for financial gain that people have seen in the 21st century. The Chinese people are smarter than that. They're not gonna sit up there and miss out on the opportunity to get all the, that, that kind of money from mining cryptocurrency. And their government can play hardball all they want. The people will push back. Where will you be with your portfolio when the ball drops? What class will you catapult into when the ball drops? What ball am I talking about? I'm talking about the Bitcoin ball. I'm talking about when they stop playing games and realize that this innovation has no competition. When we go into full stride, changing over where we store data and information. When we move from databases to blockchain, Full steam, where will your money be? <laughs> I know where my money is. Now, I can't say this is investment advice, but I know where my money is going to be at. You don't set your money where the money was. You set your money where you think the money will be. There's so many things we could invest in. But this my friends, might be the number one no-brainer. The foundation of currency itself is about to shift into the digital realm on a, uh, on a, 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 a plateau like you can't understand. Just imagine if there were no cash at all no coins what if the extreme takes place no cash no coins nothing what if you go to the gas station and nobody wants your quarters and nickels and dimes that's hard to believe isn't it what if you actually 
Uh, when you go to your job, you decide that you don't want to be paid with cash money. It's coming, folks. And I know where I want to be. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video and you're new to, to the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Um, we've made a lot of calls on this channel that have been uh, money makers for a lot of people. Um, and we always do deep dives, philosophical as well as financial. Merge the two, you found the channel that can give you the reason why you should invest in something rather than just go herd, just going with the herd you'll have a little bit more information to make intelligent decisions. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please share with your friends and I'll catch you on the next one.